So we are here at Hollywood Studios. It's an unexpected trip. I didn't think I was going to be able to make it today. Uh, we've got friends in town that uh, didn't have passes, so we didn't know if, um, or I didn't know if I could come here. I'm here. I did not get a um, Rise of the Resistance boarding group. Uh, I chose not to do that today. So I'm just going to enjoy Hollywood Studios and then I'm going to do my first park hopping. Um, today at 2 o'clock, I think I'm going to go down to Epcot um, and walk around a little bit. So follow along. Let's see what we can get into. My first challenge today is to find a large spirit jersey, the black Mickey Mouse. So far, I'm only seeing the small. You know, they do have the blue one, which I'm wearing currently. I do like the blue one a lot. It's one of my favorite ones. And they have mediums, they got the large, and they've got the extra large. I did find, uh, I could not, or I did notice the other day, um, I was on property, Disney property. Uh, contemporary, they didn't have it there. I had to remember where I was. They didn't have it, so let's we'll see if I can ask a cast member if there's any way to track it down here in Hollywood Studios, maybe in Epcot. I'll get lucky, hopefully, we'll see. Well, I just walked out and I went to uh, look for the jersey mask, but with the Mickey Mouse on it in, um, in black, uh, size large, and I was told there are none of them at any other parks right now. The only option I would have is to find it at Disney Style within Disney Springs. And it's not a pot, that's not a guarantee that they'd have the size large that I need. So the only ones I'm, they're able to find are the size small around here for the kiddos. So, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I'm gonna go ride a ride right now, enjoy myself. So you know, the beginning of the year, the rock and roller coaster was closed for a few days. So now the standby entrance is right here. Starting right here outside of the ice cream parlor, across from Fantasmic which as we know, are, there are no shows going on right now. So the standby entrance is there. Um, I really want to ride it. So let's see what we can do. The Rock Station, Eat to the Beat, is back open. Last time I was here, it was closed. Uh, the Rock Your Face is still closed. Uh, but you can see the crowds there are still enjoying this roller coaster starring Aerosmith. It's a... Uh, They've got a system in place that looks like I am in between of there. I'm also curious if Lightning McQueen, uh, the crowd, um, is any, is it, is it busy over there? So they're claiming that the standby entrance is only 30 minutes. They still got the cars out, of course. Um, looks like the show is still going on. So you can still be, enjoy that. Nice. The Racing Academy. Nice. All right, let's go get in line. Oh, look at there I am. It's got me down to everything. Live performance. Matthew. Solo. That's me. One night only. Nice. Thank you. I was wondering if they still had that. So let me turn this off. Let's go. Oh, this ride is so much fun. I hope they don't take it away. And if they do, just rebrand it. Keep the ride the same. I like it a lot. We're at the end. Uh, quick ride. So much fun. So walking out of here right now and experience this for the, I don't know how many times, I've done it a lot. Um, one thing I noticed this trip was the music was not as loud. Um, the screams, they were there, you know, but when they do the five, four, three and they count down to one and you just blast off, it's so much fun. So I highly recommend you get a chance to ride this. There are rumors that the contract has expired and that you're gonna have to, um, they're gonna have to shut it down. Like I said, I hope that they just rebrand it. Um, Aerosmith is my age uh, generation. So, but just looking at the lines right now, there's so many people in here of so many different ages. Come and see it here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Okay, so while I was in there, they had a little bit of technical difficulties and it looked like it backed up um, this wait times. So you can see it's further back down here. Originally it was over at the ice cream uh, scoop pavilion area. And now it looks like uh, the sign is here. However, this line is keep going. It's gone. So, um, it's a beautiful day out here right now. So it's about 66 degrees. It rained earlier this morning, but look at this line. Wow. All the way down to Anaheim produce. Wow. This is crazy. It's a good, it's a good ride. 
So I'm assuming that's, they said what, 30 minutes when I was there? I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot longer than that now. So it is starting to sprinkle right now. Um, I'm waiting to see, I think I'm gonna ride the Hollywood Tower of Terror. Uh, it's starting to sprinkle like I said, so I might as well have myself a beverage while I'm waiting. It's not supposed to last all day. Temperature though is only supposed to be 71. I thought it was gonna be sunny all day, but we woke up to rain, so that's just what happens here in Florida. You go with the flow and you enjoy it. So I'm looking at these crowds here for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And I, ask my, I have to ask myself, do I want to stand in line? Do I want to wait to ride this ride? Is it worth this ride this time? It's long. I don't even know what the wait time is right now. It looks like I see the sign. Gentleman is over here is holding the sign that that's the end of the line. Uh, they just traded off. Um, so I'm gonna go to the front and see what it reads. All right, so he's saying it's only 45 minutes right here for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I think most of you know that the Voyage of the Little Mermaid is still closed. You know, the only one of the performances that's open is still going to be Frozen Sing Along. So that's the only one that they have still going on right now. Voyage of the Little Mermaid. They had taken the sign down once. I don't know if they, re if they put it back up or if it's still down. I think it was on this side of the building that it was on if i remember correctly it's been a while it's not there i can't tell but there seems to be a sign up here that's missing i don't remember what was up there either i'd have to go through some footage to remember to remind myself but there are changes hey that's what happens it looks like they're doing the best that they can to keep on keeping on so jack jack's num num cookie is five dollars and 79 cents let's try it so we ended up getting the jack jack num num cookie it's just listed as the num num cookie here uh the total was 5.79 with tax of 38 cents came out to six dollars and 17 cents and that cookie is sitting here on the bench you wouldn't be at disney without sit eating your food on a dis uh, a bench or a trash receptacle look at that cookie my goodness that cookie though i got it at the marketplace um as a pass holder you do not get any discounts there and there's other quick service places you don't get the pass holder discount so keep that in mind if you're looking for any specials um try to find the ones that as a pass holder you're going to get the discounts with it's pretty good though i think a family of four can split that easily uh, as a nice treat and a snack I never thought that that day would ever come as a kid that we'd have to explain what a uh, telephone is um, on the wall because now all of us carry a cell phone, so it's kind of cool. So it looks like they still do have a telephone here. There's still a way you can get through. So I'm gonna listen, there's a dial tone. We have a dial tone, y'all. Crazy. That still works. All right, so I am walking back to the Hollywood Tower Hotel and i noticed that the standby entrance has changed um i don't know how i'm supposed to get around it it looks like they're moving it now so they're going backwards it's 30 minute right now i want to go further that way and so um, how am i supposed to get here now gotcha all right so it looks like they're catching up and once these ropes drop, we can walk to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Here at Growler Street and Sunset Boulevard, you need to have a uh, stop and go, and we have the go right now. All right, let's try the Hollywood Tower Hotel again. Standby entrance with this is 35 minutes, and as you know, there are no fast passes at this time. They do accept the disability uh, service. Uh, and I think there may be another one. Um, I'm not sure if the Disney Vacation Club still get something. I gotta check into that one. Here at the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Your very own episode of The Twilight Zone.
That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. <laughs> oh. Wow. You go up, you go down, you go up, you go down, you go halfway. Oh, it's so much fun. You, your feet and your butt leave the seat. <laughs> Welcome back to those of you who made it. And a friendly word of warning. Something you won't find in any dark book. The next time you check into a deserted hotel on the dark side of Hollywood, make sure you know just what kind of vacancy you're filling. Or you may find yourself a permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. Welcome back to So while here at Hollywood Studios, you can, I can never not go to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I have to go. So, I'm gonna do one more ride, but I'm not gonna do any rides to Galaxy's Edge. I'm just gonna walk through it and take a look at some things, see if there's anything changed uh, since the last two months I've been here. I don't think I've heard anything. Um, I may go into and get another lightsaber, kyber crystal, not sure, but follow along. Already the sounds, the sounds of Star Wars. Oh, I love it. I gotta watch myself. There's a lot of people in here right now, and I don't want to bump into anybody. Oh, we got some droids. Oh, that's right, the Sprite one. Sprite droid. We've always had this one, Coca-Cola. Wash station, that's wonderful. What a great idea. And of course, it's waste receptacles. Now the markings on things here you can translate that if you want to you can find the alphabet and translate it to read what it, it has on there so one place i'm walking up to right now i ran across ray uh, from star wars and i bumped into her accidentally she was sitting in this spot right here where i'm at um i did read that they are going to make some changes they're wanting to have different characters maybe mandalorian they may have other characters. They may get rid of Ray. We don't know yet. It's, I don't think it's been uh, put out yet. So, oh, it's so cool. All right, so enter here, the marketplace here. You have to um, wait in line. They can only have so many people through there at one time. So you can see here, end of line. That's just to go shopping. That's to walk through the stores, the market. And these letters here, you can look at, and that reads market to, in the, um, in, with their language, their written language. So if you know what this area is here, I think I put it on one of my other videos, and there's other videos out here. But this is the area where you can make your lightsaber. Don't tell anybody. Do not let the Empire know. This is location, though. Secret location all right so it looks like right here this is where you can get the kyber crystals and it looks like this is the end of the line right here i have seen it pretty far behind but to have it right there is fairly that's yeah that's pretty long here take a look again and there she is the millennium falcon look at that so the first time I got to see this as an annual pass holder exclusive premiere, I tell you, I was impressed. My whole life, Star Wars has been around. I was born in 76 and Star Wars came out right after and blew the world apart. So 
one of my first movies was E.T. and I think my second movie was Star Wars. And I mean, it's beautiful. I've got photos in front of it that I will cherish. Um, uh, please, if you are a Star Wars fan, you've got to take a look at it. It is so impressive. The ride was fun. Um, Smuggler's Run was fun. I do enjoy it. Uh, however, Rise of the Resistance is a lot more fun. Other rides here in the park are more fun, but the immersion that you've had inside of Star Wars, this you can't you can't take that away from anybody. All right, folks. So I think I'm gonna go ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and after that, I think my time is done. So we'll catch up with you here soon. Um, this is the last day of my trip, so I will be heading back to Colorado Springs, Colorado, and after that, I am going skiing for almost a week with some friends. It's our annual ski trip I'm going to. I can't wait. I'm going to miss here. Today is not sunny. It is rainy, but it's nice. It's still 66 degrees. It's beautiful. I love it here. I'm going to miss it, but I'm going to go skiing to a whole new environment. I'm excited for that as well. Anyway, folks, you don't know where we're going to go to next. Traveling Jump Seater 1, uh, Marcus, he is busy right now flying, doing some work. He's out there with his family. You know, as you know, he's got a young child that was just born recently, uh, a year ago. So um, he can't get out and do everything the way I can. I'm furloughed right now, so I'm, uh, I'm able to get out there and do a lot more. But once this furlough lifts, once uh, coronavirus is gone, once we can take these masks off, Marcus and I will be together. We will go enjoy things together once again, and you'll see us here. So please follow along. If you like this and other videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get the notifications, hit that bell.